Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. Today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign where myself, Saiken, is trying to beat the game on the very highest difficulty. Everything cranked up to the maximum. It is career mode and it is time to get those heavy, heavy mechs that we were looking for. Smash and Grab is the name of the game. Let's try to get some salvage. It's a recovery mission from the lowlands. And another nice side effect is that we will get the friendly reputation with the pirates. That is worth something. It'll make the access to uh, the black market much cheaper. Griffin here is slightly damaged, but that is okay. We can live with it. So Bradford will lead the team this time into the lowlands in order to recover. Good time to deploy. I'm hoping that Tygen this time gets his little promotion. Okay, good hunting. Recover memory core by securing that location. That sounds easy enough, but nothing is ever that easy. Moving into kind of that low ground here. Not perfect, but I'm hoping that I can take the high ground over here and then sort of attack from there. So far, we haven't had any enemy contact. That changes. As the enemy seems to have the exact same idea. We can fall back into the water if needed for some extra cooling. But for now, let's see what the enemy does. Warhammer. Okay. Isn't a Warhammer a heavy mech? Oh, maybe he has the initiative trait. Commander. All right, Griffin begins to move Order up. Confirmed. Vigilance, because I got the distinct feeling that it'll uh, that she will tank for us. Let's get rid of both of his um, lips. Tygen begins to take a couple of shots. Nice little head hit. Yeah. That's a good start. Beat the cake. Continuing the frontal assault. Yes, Commander. And we are continuing even more on frontal assault. Okay, the guy is injured. There's uh, no way of denying that. Aye, aye. Now we can put one on reserve. Yes, Commander. Okay, Hunchback. Hunchback moves up into a sweet, sweet cover, 40% damage reduction, and we're continuing to hit the guy. Let's do a bit of precision striking. Ah, not enough, not quite enough. Continuing to hit him. The other side horse is opened. And we're continuing to put ourselves on reserve. Enemy vehicles are moving in, but that is too little too late. As Bradford is now taking a shot and hopefully will destroy at least one side. Another head hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Aye, aye. On the move. Moving over. Come on. Fantastic. Pilot has hits. three injuries now. And that guy is moving back. Waiting for the right move. 
Chest to come back in. Okay, cool, cool. Potentially not a good idea. Commander. Something I can do. But if you must test your limits, let me show you what they are. Exactly. Tangled down. Standing by. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. Good. Moving. Bracing. Just to get rid of all of the heat. Skipper. Tigan moves up. I got you. Gets rid of the heat. Ready to get it off. Redford moves up. Confirmed. Gets rid of the heat. Whatever, I'm good. Confirmed. All right. Tigan moves in with a hunchback. Vigilance. Who else can still act? Let's take a look. Track PPC, PPC, oh, AC20s. No, we do not want AC20s. Full focus on one side. Uh, just barely didn't make it. Luckily, none of his AC20s were hitting. Location confirmed. Centurion moves up. Confirmed. And that was the wrong target. Okay. It's like you've got to learn how to aim. All weapons are go. Come on, people, let's Good, make fantastic. It That's reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Standing by. One more guy down. Roger that. Got the angle. Taking the shot. And the PPC carrier is almost down as well. Ready to rock. Affirmative, Commander. Good, medium lasers would be a bit too much here. Second PPC is down. I honestly hope that that is not the entire enemy force. Because we do... We did sign up for a lot of loot. Unfortunately, these guys only do have weapons. Good. I'll save the long-ranged missiles, and we're just going to take shots. Okay, vehicle down. Vehicle trash. Moving out. Good. We're sprinting in. So far, so good. That first pack really wasn't. Oh no, oh no. Ah, that mission did us dirty, guys. Oh no, that mission did us really dirty. Well, rip salvage. We'll get a lot of weapons. And that's about it. <laughs> what a dirtbag mission. Good, we got a Warhammer. Cool. And that's pretty much it. You know what? I'll take the AC-20s. Because I can. I can select loot. We take an MG. They seem to be rare. And some AC-20 ammunition. Some more AC-20 ammunition. Yeah, well, we got everything, almost. It was just weapons. I guess, on the bright side, AC-20s aren't bad. On the downside, yeah, it could have been for a little bit sturdier mechs, right? It was a three-school mission, and that was the easiest walk in the park ever. Like for starters, uh, the 
the weapon platforms were just standing back and letting that one mech uh, do all of the uh, the work. Then that guy walked in, got a pounding, and then the weapon platforms were destroyed like in one single go. Okay, I think that was the last contract. Yeah, not much that we can do, unfortunately. Short upgrade uh, for Tygen. Training confirmed, Commander. Awaiting orders. Waiting for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Ready for orders. Good. Redboard. I'll, I want that Training indirect, um, that court shot uh, bonus. That is important. Should get that on Hogbite as well. Okay. And in terms of mechs now, we can design a couple of mechs. So it's always fun before we're moving on. Let's start with repairing the Griffin. That only takes two days. Okay. Fair enough. And in the meantime... How about the Hunchback? It's a very, very slight rework. So the laser pluses go out. Also that, because we will need it in the new one. And potentially that. Sorry. I'm very sorry. In order to not gimp it too much, small lasers here and there and in the head that's fine then what else we need a lot of heat sinks one two three four five still okay damage definitely not as good of a heat management as we had beforehand but this guy here is only supposed to be like the backup for now which is why we removed all of uh, the valuable oh, items I'll let you know when that's done. stop the work real quick with the griffin hmm no, the comm system. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the comm system out. And repair this here real quick. Good. Perfect. That is one communication system. Also, Griffin should be priority. And I think the second one was in here. With that Griffin, since we only have two communication systems, I want to make sure that we're actually using them. And I'm not sure which of the medium X we're going to use. The Griffin might be I'll get it in the not in the primary uh, in the primary lens. So Orion definitely is, and hence from. A communication system standpoint let's give him the comms plus 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 system and let's also go with what I originally wanted to do which is this guy is going to be rebuilt around an SRM 6 it had heat problems so from an uh, from from a heat perspective let's give him that heat bank here did we have any decent medium laser upgrades the answer is no we also didn't have better weapons. The LBX 10X is, or is still the best one that we do have at this point. 
and with 30 28 heat deficiency i think it is still fair to upload or to load up just a tiny bit more damage so we're taking that srm2 which brings us to whoopen 270 points of damage decent communication system heat bank that's it's a good design Good. Orion. It's all the way up there. Now, Thunderbolt is potentially going to be our new mech. Big Fat Skirmisher has five lasers and two LRM, uh, uh, two potentially SRMs. So let's start with the SRMs and some ammunition. Okay, that's good. Now, in terms of further weapons, three lasers here, two lasers here. Very strange design, by the way, everything on the left torso. Gotta remember to hit the thunder uh, bolt on the left torso. An extra range small laser. And then that small laser plus plus. And another small laser plus plus. We really need the ER potentially. That one here is better. Okay, cool. So that in itself is already a crazy amount of heat, right? Correct. So minus 15% weapon heat. And it's still 86. Ooh. Wow. Good. Com system. Yes, please. Heat bank. Yes, please. Funny how that immediately changed the heat. And what else? I think heat sinks would be a great idea. We're still running quite a bit of a deficiency. Got a few heat sinks here and there. What are we looking at? That's 80 over 50. Realistically speaking, 18 of those are often offline. That's the small lasers. So we're really looking at, um, we're looking at 68 over 48, and that's a 20 heat deficiency, which I can get behind. That's a reasonable, overall reasonable setup. Firepower wise, we're at 300, so the Thunderbolt would be the new heavy brawler. Just a tiny bit less armor than the Orion, tiny bit more damage than the Orion. And let's just take away a bit of the armor here and there. And that looks like a really, really solid setup. Did I forget anything? Potentially not. So we're looking at 300 plus excellent heat management. An okay range. We're fine. You could argue for kind of that TTS instead of one of the heat sinks. I can see that. Yeah, that, that'll increase the damage. 
won't show up as maximum damage here, but it will effectively increase the damage because we can hit more easy. Plus one accuracy on all of them essentially makes them kind of medium lasers with a small plus. 17 days, it's good. And that also means we will take some time to just build all of that up. Manage tasks, Thunderbolt, so 22 days, 24 if we want the Griffin. And that should be fine. So Orion is the new leader together with Thunderbolt. We do have our LRM boat here with the Centurion. Well, that worked relatively well. And the Griffin. The Griffin is the Griffin. And hopefully deals some damage. Could, could argue to take the Hunchback as well. But the Hunchback now has lost a lot of its power because the because of the lackluster heat control. So I think this setup here will be better. Okay, cool. So, um, a bit of upgrades. Let's take a look at the star map. And let's see where our next target could be. Just out of curiosity, that is a three and a half star mission oh wow okay good what else three and a half here but that's against the pirates that's not gonna happen 27 days that's also against the pirates 28 days nah too far away also, I want to be relatively near to here because that's where the third um, flashpoint will pop up. 20 days looks good. Tonnage requirement light. Eh, not sure if we will be able to do that. Expires in 19 days. Yeah, that's gone already de facto we can't reach that which kind of brings us to the question shall we then do a three and a half star system what do we have available that here would be 20 days to get there i hate to work against the pirates that's i don't want to do it 32 days over here. Twenty-eight. Not necessarily bad. And the underlying system also has pirate activity. Plus we do have Davian Headquarters in a sphere level civilization that, and Battlefield, which typically means more salvage. So what are we dealing with? 28 days? 28 days. Does that mean we get everything done? Yeah, not bad. I mean, good. So be it, sometimes you got to travel across the entire galaxy. I'll fast forward the travel for you guys. Okay, and we are there. Nothing of importance happened during the travel. Let's check out the new system. As always, let's go into the store. Nice, an annihilator. That indeed is a really, really good mech as well. Full-fledged Banshee. Yeah, that's, most of that is above our pay grade. But we got a couple of large lasers. 10 damage, 3 accuracy. Not bad. Gyros. Those here are fantastic. 
cost nothing, well, in terms of tonnage, but are really great. And the target system for missiles, TTS-3+, plus, is also good. Overall, fantastic system with a lot of good stuff, but we are too broke to afford any of it. Let's take a look at the contracts and do a small mission before we start the Flashpoint the next time. Well, well, well. No pirates. <laughs> that is unfortunate. This here would be good. But of course, it's against the pirates. Everything that pays well is always against the pirates. Do we have a reasonably difficult mission? Well, that one here is a salvage mission, also against the pirates. Okay, fantastic. Good. We're just going to destroy a base, guys. 600,000 and a bit of fun. And it will get, uh, get us to the next level with the Draconis Combine, which isn't bad either. And I want to test the heat capabilities of our mechs. So, let's maybe switch places. So Mox here is going to be our, um, our LRM battery. These here are the tanks. Tigan needs to go. Hawkbite and Bradford are taking that over. And yeah. Reaper is going to run the Griffin, kind of as a hybrid. And with those SRMs, she's potentially uh, going to do well. So we got a desert biome and we got to destroy an entire base. Difficulty two is not too threatening, but I can only offer what's available, guys, and we wanted a fast mission so that this uh, episode doesn't only contain an eight-minute mission. That was just a stomp. All right, let's begin uh, the mission. We're still hunting those sweet, sweet heavy mechs, but they will likely not happen to be here. That looks more like an automatic defense. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's one of those forts. Copy that. It's a fantastic map. I really like it. It has a lot of streets where you can uh, move fast. And those tow uh, towers here and all of the barriers are also destructible. There's a, there is a surprising amount of tactical depth once, once you get engaged with it. Griffin moves up. We're putting Vigilance in to tank. Light turret. And that pretty much was a laser, laser light turret. What's up, boss? Roger. Full speed. Thunderbolt runs with full speed. Full speed. Orion is kind of next to him, Battle Brothers. And the Centurion moves up. Interesting to see that there is a mech at one. Commander. That can't be right. Bandit. That would be an assault mech. Aye aye. Alright. Griffin again moves up. Hitting that Fire. second turret. And we got that patch of forest there. Just as if the game would have told us, guys, there's forest. Go for it. Ready for order. Move order Centurion. Please. We're dealing with another Centurion. Okay, a flea and a javelin. 
Let's go with... Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. What we're going to do is multi-target. So one here. One there, one there. DC. Okay, cool. I got him. Centurion takes a lot of damage. Not quite down. And the other two take a bit of damage. What Respectively, the? we're reducing I their know. evasion blips. Receiving you. Cool. Moving up. Breadboard in confirmed. the Thunderbolt. First time that he can use it. Let's precision strike and just see how much it does without the heavy lasers. Uh, without the uh, small Fire lasers. Ooh, wow. Look at that. One third of its armor completely melted. Orion moves into safety. Same deal, 90%. All right, let's just get his shoulder down. Somehow, there are too many projectiles. Uh, normally, that game runs absolutely smooth, but apparently if you shoot kind of a shotgun and rockets at the same time, at least my PC just doesn't like it. That alpha strike. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Are you telling me Hogbite just took a head to a uh, hit to the head from this rando dude? Wow. Okay. Confirmed. Griffin moves up. Continuing to hit the Centurion on, and we'll eventually after the fall. Salvo, the guy just drops down. Okay, cool. And that gives us another chance Locking in to test Breadboard's new mech. And I want to test it with the small lasers. Confirm. Okay, okay. <laughs> The flea is almost down. No problem. Mox with the Centurion sits there. Okay, multi target. Flea, yes. And the other guy, also, yes. Let's just keep it civil. We Multiple don't need to overheat. Javelin is almost done. Yeah, and that is why small mechs tend to lose their power in the later stages of the game. Because although you can be very evasive, there are plenty of options um, for an enemy uh, to simply hit well enough. And yeah, normally it, Standing by. it tends to end up uh, with uh, you Blue taking... Uh, taking hits, and as soon as that happens, it's kind of a death spiral, right? As soon as you are taking hits, you're losing stability, and with the loss of stability and the loss of evasion, the only form of real Good to go. uh, defense is gone. Roger that. 
and there is a massive uh, difference between yeah having 300 armor and having a thousand eight hundred or two thousand armor plus the weapon uh, discrepancy is rather large but yeah i mean that's the reason why there are different weight classes the small mechs were never designed or supposed to fight alone against the bigger mechs On my way. Good. Let's get that javelin down. Target neutralized. So potentially getting hit from one of the towers. Nope, the answer is not. Aye aye. Roger that. So let's reduce his uh, initiative Engaging target. so normally you wouldn't need okay Target's never mind destroyed. never mind on the move Target enemy structure is weakening got something you want done roger Locked on. All right. Quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see many reinforcements now. Okay, no need Firing for on any uh, mm, small range missiles. Waiting for the shot. Engaging target. Good shot, Commander. Fantastic. I think we're going to get some extra some extra reward if we're actually killing all of the garrisons so let's try that no retreat one less turret yeah what can i do you for awaiting orders okay mox Moves in. Let's kill that last turret. Got it. Fantastic. And now all that is left Got is it. destroy the base. Standing by. On the move. Roger that. Be pressing in this biome. Our laser weapons are really not doing a great job. The rockets are somewhat doing a decent job, as you can see, but the lasers themselves would take a long, long time just to get everything down. Yeah, I think there won't be any reinforcements. Moving out. It appears that we've beaten the mission. Target confirmed. Yes, Commander. Beat the cake. Beat the cake. All right, there we go. And that might be just a tiny bit extra money for us. Yeah, two school missions, 
with kind of uh, the loadout that we're running, probably no longer a challenge. We're really more in that three to four school uh, area right now. I would even say maybe the right four and a half school or five school mission is doable with our lance, but that would po uh, potentially stretch it a bit. Good, 700k. And yeah, nothing of value for us. Which kind of brings us to the end. Good, we got back to 4 million. Got that uh, ship upgrade going. Hogbite is unfortunately out for a moment. Getting hit on such an easy mission. The disgrace. Get it on. Waiting for orders. Right here. Yes, Commander. Good. Finally, Gunnery 5. Mech warrior training complete. Yeah. Commander? Okay, and Commander? that sort of sorts it out uh, for now. Next time we're going to do that flashpoint, three and a half skulls. That is more like it. And hopefully our, uh, we, are, we can hunt a couple of rare or ultra rare items. Plus get our standing up with the commonwealth. Uh, speaking about standing, let's just check. So the pirates are going great. That here needs to just go up and up and up. Uh, the commonwealth, maybe after the flashpoint, will look good as well. Those two are fine. And I'm surprised we haven't effed up the rest too much. I mean, the Capellian Confederation is okay again after we've done a flashpoint for them. And our mercenary status, by the way, is also uh, growing typically, just to give you kind of a reference point. The, the, that, that status here grows kind of with the amount of skulls, um, more or less, um, maybe a bit slower. But us being much further than the reputation suggests that we have uh, skipped quite a few missions and always have taken rather difficult ones. In terms of ship upgrade, maybe that's a last interesting one as well. We have now started to get even more kind of repair here. And that means we will be faster. Afterwards, I am considering that we go for beta pots and more morale because that should be fine. Not 100% needed though. I mean, it, it'll also increase our average cost. And to be honest, we can get morale by just extravagant lifestyle. So yeah, not sure if we need that. Not sure. The med bay, that could be uh, something just to get faster healing. That uses beta pots as well. Yeah, but we really don't need that many mech pilots. Never fully understood why the game suggests that you should have 16 mech warriors. That just costs so much um, upkeep. And it's not like your mech warriors are continuously um, on the brink of dying or heavily injured yes you get an eventual hit here and there but that's about it yeah trainings module could be a thing other than that we've pretty much uh, upgraded most of uh, the systems we got a second mech bay uh, during our travel time just wanted to highlight that so we can put our kind of main team down here yeah and the rest up here are reserve fighters good anyways that's the end uh, let's go into the flashpoint next thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it feel free to leave a comment and a like below and see you in two days bye bye